Hello and welcome back to the How To Electrical Series. Today we're going to look at a one-way, two-plate lighting circuit. The cables you'll see me using will be the brown line cable, the blue neutral cable, and the green and yellow CPC, circuit protective conductor. The size of these cables for domestic lighting circuits are 1.5 millimetres squared. We have here the consumer unit, to the ceiling rows, this is the pendant, to the back box for the one-way switch. The first part of the process will be to pass our cables through the conduit. For convenience, we connect them all together, pass them through the conduit. You'll see there's a space there. We don't usually buy a conduit with a space in, but this is just to show you the process of it traveling through the conduit. To the ceiling rows. This is where we now disconnect or take out the neutral and leave it at the ceiling rows. Also, the CPC will come out and connect to the ceiling rows. We would then continue with the brown line cable through the conduit down to the first switch. We now need a return from that switch, switch to the ceiling rows. Thus, so we cut off the excess at the switch. Also, most importantly, is the continuation of the CPC or circuit protective conductor, which should be connected at all parts. When wiring the ceiling rows, it's important that the wires come through the back entry of the ceiling rows, which will then allow us to connect the ceiling rows. Yeah. Always clearly identifying what cables are for what reason. Yeah? This one I've put a little U in it. This, state, this actually tells me this is the feed from the consumer unit. So you'll notice there we have got quite a bit of slack. We can cut these down uh, to fit neatly within the ceiling rows. Cut the cable there. And with our wire strippers. Important not to cut too much insulation off. Otherwise you'll have copper showing which can have an adverse effect within the ceiling rows. Connection is thus. The line or brown cable I've connected there is the return from the switch, which I'll explain when we actually wire the switch up. This again, as we said earlier, is identified as the feed from the consumer unit. We now repeat the process with the blue neutral. So we make a cut in the cable. Again, same situation, not too much insulation, so we don't have any copper showing when we place the cable in the terminal. Proceed to tighten it up. And then finally, at the ceiling rows, we connect our circuit protective conductor to this brass terminal here. We now proceed to connect the CPC, or our main earthing for this one-way lighting system, to the brass terminal and tighten up as such. Again, remembering not too much insulation, nice and hand tight, so we get a firm connection. So now at the ceiling rows, you will see we have the return from the switch connected in conjunction with the brown cable from the pendant and the neutral that comes from the consumer unit to the corresponding neutral of the lamp. The switch we use has the availability of one way and two way. For the one way, we'll be using the common and the bottom left hand termination here, which is identified as one way. This, which I bent the cable over, is our feed from the consumer unit, which will go into the common of the switch. And I will then proceed to connect the return to the ceiling rows into the one way element of the switch. When cutting these cables, don't cut them too short in case you need to get the face plate off. So give yourself a little bit of room with the cables themselves. 
This I identified from the consumer unit, which now goes into the common. You'll notice there that it's a clean entry and there's no copper showing outside the connection. We then now connect our return to the ceiling rows via the one way element of this switch. And nice and tight. Never really over tighten these screws because they will put pressure on the copper. And there we have our connections on the switch. The CPC will sit within the switch. If this was a metal configuration, then the back box would have to be earthed and a fly lead extended to the front plate. This is a plastic insulation. So what we'll do is put a connector block on the earthing just in case in the future, they may want to have a metal back box and face plate. Again, ensuring good connection, not too tight. Yep. You'll notice now we've now completed the connection at the switch and at the ceiling rows. Our final connections will now be at the consumer unit. So our first process is again, is stripping the cables. Again, remembering not too much insulation. The first cable that we will insert is the CPC. This gives us protection via the earthing. Again, no copper showing. Neutral into our neutral bar. and our line into our circuit breaker, which is six amp for lighting, and it is a type B circuit breaker for domestic appliance. To do this, we just loosen the top of the circuit breaker, apply our live cable or line cable into the top of the circuit breaker, and tighten as such. Uh, you can dress your consumer unit so it looks nice and neat, and there we have the connections for our one-way lighting circuit. We will have a flow of current through this brown line cable, through the top of the switch. Because the switch is on, it will connect the continued flow of current through this brown line to the ceiling rows, which will then go via the brown into the light. It will then return via that light via the blue cable, which you'll see here, which is then connected to the neutral, which is then our neutral return back to the consumer unit. Okay, so that's completed our one way two plate lighting circuit. In the next video will be an extension of this to incorporate a two way switch. Thank you.